radius is r, we're given that it's r, and also this distance is r. Now we, we're given i, there's a current i given. So we know i and r here. And I want the current i prime here. So find i prime in the straight wire. Now, we want I prime such that the magnetic field at the center of the circle is zero. That's the requirement. So first of all, what should the direction of the current I prime be? Will it be up or down? For I, for the loop, the loop produces a magnetic field at the center of the circle, and since if the current is counterclockwise, the field is out of the page. So if I want the field to be zero at the center, this must produce a field into the page. So to produce a field into the page by Ampere's law, I have to put the current up. Because if I put the current up, then the field will be into the page. So the current I prime must be up. And now, what is its value? The magnetic field produced by the coil at the center. We have a, a circular loop carrying a current I. What is the field at the center? We did that a few times already. So B produced by the coil is, is mu zero times I, the current I, over two R, twice the radius. And the radius is just R. And it's what? Out of the page. By the wire, B for this is infinitely long, so by Ampere's law, B is mu zero I over 2 pi times the distance to the point. The distance from the point to the wire is 2r. So 2 pi times 2r. And it's into the page. And so if the field here is 0, one is out of the page, one is into the page, the magnitudes must be the same. This is i prime here. That's a B produced by, let's call it B prime, by, by the wire I prime, with current I prime. So those must be equal. So you get mu zero I over 2R is mu zero I prime over 4 pi R. Mu zero R, mu zero R. So you get I prime equal 4 pi I over 2. So 2 pi times i. So whatever the current i, you multiply it by 2 pi, and that's the, that must be the current in, R, in, in the straight wire.